Guys, look at the Tesla Optimus box. It's smart, it's efficient, the fingers are amazing, and Tesla has finally given us one of the biggest updates. And let's break it down. Because Tesla Optimus Bot is going to be one of the biggest shockers of 2024. And yes, I get it. You know, the Tesla Optimus Bot looks like it's working in a sweatshop. Now, you have a bunch of engineers. You also have a bunch of other Tesla bots. But the one that's folding clothes is literally taking like 30 seconds. I know what most people are thinking. They're probably all saying, oh, you know, that robot that was made 10 years ago could probably fold this shirt in 10 seconds. Or there's automated machines for folding clothes. That's not really the point, guys. The whole point of the Tesla Optimus bots is to experiment all these different things that can be done by humans for this robot. You know, they already have a whole entire dedicated division for the Tesla bot. And they're actually doing a pretty good job. Like, everything's made in-house. And yes, you have a probably multi-million dollar team and a very expensive robot doing something that's a very simple task for mini robotics. But this bot is using fingers and these fingers one day would not just be folding clothes, but probably cooking, cleaning, you know, doing manufacturing work and much, much more. The fingers of the Tesla bot is one of the most advanced in the world. I mean, have you seen a humanoid robot get a bunch of eggs and not crack them? I haven't, I think it's only Tesla. And it can also sort items autonomously. Like you tell it to, okay, put the blue Legos in the blue bin, put the green yellow Legos in the yellow bin. It could do that. And the fingers are really, really flexible. I think Tesla spent a lot of money on this and it's a correct thing to do. And if you go to one of these showrooms that have a Tesla bot, you clearly see how intricate these bots are. And they're made with the image of humans. Because what this person is explaining is basically our hands move in a very special way that has always been with us for thousands of years because it's like the most efficient way to do things. And the Tesla bot is actually having the same, almost like muscles and neural networks and electrical grids and joints, just like us humans. So it could pick up things, it could grab things as easy, as seamlessly as possible. And one of the biggest things about the Tesla bot is we're going to be seeing some pretty amazing stuff coming from Tesla this year, right? We're going to be seeing possibly new AI with the robot. Right now, the Tesla bot folding clothes. Guys, it's you got a guy right next to this robot literally folding clothes with it, right? It's nothing special. It's not doing it autonomously. Musk even said that this robot is not doing anything autonomously right now, but they are training and they will be putting the AIs into the robot. Musk has already emphasized that he wants to be a robot and AI company. They just don't want to only make cars. And if they just make cars, well, uh, their valuation would not be $700 billion. It's going to be like $100 or $150 billion. And I think Tesla's robotics division is a lot more special than other divisions. You have a lot of guys like Boston Dynamics. I love Boston Dynamics, but a lot of those jumping, you know, running around, it's all done beforehand. It's all already like inputted in to the robot so it could do all these different actions. But what Tesla wants to do with their bot is to one, have very, very intricate and delicate fingers, so much so that it can actually start knitting towards the end of the year. That's one of its goals. And also second, they want it to be very smart. It could learn as it go. And let's say you tell it to fold clothes. There could be like hundreds of boxes of clothes. You tell it to go fold clothes, it'll fold every single one of them instead of just one in a very special setting. Now, if there's like cups, liquids on a table, it will actually be smart enough to fold the clothes and not dip the shirt into a cup of coffee. It will actually fold the shirt away from the cups, prevent any spills and hazardous materials being littered around. Like you want to train the robot to the point that it's almost acting like a human being. And I think AI is already getting advanced enough to do stuff like this. If you check out other AI companies out there, you know, OpenAI, Gemini, they're all very smart. And we're getting to the point where we can already get very advanced personal assistant devices. Not to mention the Tesla bot. You have a multi-billion dollar company behind this. And I think their robotics division is already advancing super fast. Look at the Tesla bot like a year and a half ago. It was literally a guy in a suit running around. But now you have a legit robot that actually looks very, very good. Super excited for the Tesla bot and you should too. This is one of the few products in 2024 that I'm actually excited about. Because with Tesla, you never know what to expect. I mean, it's a car company, it's an EV company, it's a battery company. Who would have known they'll make a polygon truck? 
only Tesla. They're willing to take some of the biggest risk and some of the craziest stuff and craziest projects. In fact, when Tesla announced about their whole robotics division, like a year and a half ago, I laughed. I was like, why would a electric battery company make robots? It doesn't really make any sense, but they're doing it. You know, you don't see other car companies doing this. So Tesla's very, very special. I think they could definitely make the Tesla bot a lot more unique than anyone else because, like I said, they're really pursuing the fingers and the sensors on the fingers more than any other company. And do your everyday tasks. You probably notice that most of the tasks that you do mostly involves your fingers, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Are you excited about the Tesla bot? Because I am.